going on, guys? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. You know, hmm, <clears throat> this this time of year is insane because you got all the gaming stuff going on, the gaming releases at the Murray and J. Waite Castle, big tech playthroughs, Christmas specials, holiday specials, year-end specials, year-end game awards, and then you got the goofy Jeff Keighley game awards. Um, And, you know, those of you that know me know that I usually, you know, you know, I have this, this history with Jeff. You know, we've talked in the past. And I've been a little harsh on him. And and lately, the past few years, I've been a little bit easier on him. You know, I I have to give credit where credit's due. Um, and I know he's always fucking up in life, but he tries. You know, he's got his heart in it, and I gave him credit for that. And, you know, I've critiqued things in the past, like maybe a little bit less with the in-your-face ads and stupid stage shows and focus on the gamers. And, you know, he's gotten better. And, and, and you know, every year is an improvement. But let me tell you something. Now, I did fall asleep twice. I already called Game of the Year what they were going to say. Um, actually, when it was an early access years ago, but that's another story. People t- told me I was nuts. They seem to forget. Good friends with the guys over on Larian Studios, by the way. But anyway, um, actually, one of the guys that works for this studio, I I interned for him at a college before he was even with them. Um, But, you know, it seems to me like as I've been going a little easier on Jeff, the media's been going harder. And I'm not just talking about your average Joe Schmo YouTuber. I'm talking about big journalists. Um, Whoa, he got some flack last night. And I mean, really? Whoa. Uh, I was reading some of the comments. Hope you die. Death threats. Jeff Keeley is Jeff Smealy. And I'm and I'm like, you know, this is why us as gamers are embarrassed. This is why we have the look we have. You know, you have professional serious people like us. And it's just, you know, nobody says you can't have a little fun in the industry, but when you start giving people death threats and starting to talk smack about their personal life and Jeff Keeley's mother, come on. Really? What the heck does that got to do with the game awards? All right, so they dragged it out. You know they have to. They have to pay the bills. Um, I got two big bills. I got two big bills. Remember that the Dark Side Phil song. Sean Rank, Sean, Sean Rankin, and, and Liquid Richard. But you know he got a lot of smack. Um, for the most part, it was a bore fest. But some good things were announced. You know his old buddy Hideo Kojima was there, um, announced the game OD, which is coming out, looks incredible, it's got real actors in it, um, some of the highlights were that, um, they showed some, uh, Guilty Gear DLC coming out, uh, Jurassic Park Survival, that really got my attention, um, Wow, wow. They talked a little bit about Fortnite. You know, it's got that Lego mode, that rocket racing, that um, rock band modes now. Murray and Jay Waite is repping that. Just spent $500 again in the shop. Um, And, you know, they showed off some great Final Fantasy trailers. Uh, They talked a little bit about What's coming in the future, like past 2024? They showed uh, Sean Murray took the stage. Sean Murray of Hello Games. Uh, We're a lot alike, except I'm a little bit more handsome. Um, 
you know, I, I looked his history up. He's from the same ancestors as me in Ireland. Oi! As Greg Miller would say, um, he's working on a new game, Light No Fire. Very cool, very cool. Um, he took the stage with old Jeffy. So, you know, there was some cool stuff announced, but yeah, he got some slack. I think it was because too much orchestra, too much silly stage presence. I don't know. You know, that's, hey, listen, they could really come out and do these awards within 20 minutes, maybe a half hour if they really dragged it out. But they got to really drag it to do their thing, to make a show of it. You know, Jeff does prepare for this all year. So, you know, I got to give him props. You know, he's a kid at heart. He's he's a Kevin Hart. But I just couldn't believe the backlash. I mean, I'm talking about big names. I don't want to say names, but like Paul Tassi from Forbes. And uh, a lot of people over at uh, Kind of Funny. Let me tell you something. It wasn't funny. <laughs> But I was surprised, you know, usually you hear a lot of people like me or YouTubers that cut the Game Awards up, it was too slow, it was too boring, had too many ads, had cringy stage shows, like one guy was out of tune with his saxophone. But this year seemed like, you know, maybe because everybody knew, you know, Baldur's Gate 3 was going to take the stage. Alan Wake 2 was going to wipe the stage. You know, and a lot of them did in a lot of categories. There was a lot of silly categories. I know a lot of people were complaining about Dave the Dive. Dave the Dive! You can see his straps, but you know he's not a really indie studio. Because he's got a lot of money in his backing. Look out! Um, but That's a whole other thing. I talked about that previously on a podcast of mine. I, I talked about it previously on here on a show. Um, you know, what is an indie game? What is not? So, you know, I had that backlash. I had a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. You know, gamers in general and media will pick at you at the stake. But really, who else is doing it? So, of course, Jeff Keighley's going to have to have the, the rocks thrown at him. I don't know. What do you what do you think? Do you think the criticism was warranted? What did you think about the Game Awards? Let's talk about the real exciting Game Awards. The Merry and J Await, yes, year-end series of awards. Every Christmas Eve, we have our Game of the Year. Um, all games are played by me, reviewed by me, 100% run by himself, YouTube channel. Um... And it's going to be interesting. We still have Indie of the Year. We still have Music Album of the Year. I hope you join me. I hope you go back and watch the rest of the year-end series videos in the playlist. We also have a Christmas vlog playlist of specials. Um, and it's going to be just food and fun, right? To, to New Year's Eve, I'm doing Call of Duty with the viewers. I'm doing Fortnite's new modes. We're going to be having our Christmas marathon featuring The Grinch. Christmas Adventures. Hope you join me. Murray and Jay await out. Take care, guys.